I'm very happy to have Karen O'Neill here uh, from the United Way of Chatham Kent. So, Karen, thanks for joining me today. Hi, Eric. Thanks so, for having me. So, I got to ask you right out of the gate: How are you and your family doing during this very interesting time in the world? Uh, very interesting indeed. Um, I find it to be such a, a strange. I don't know. Uh, strange, strange. You know, there's um, there's people that uh, you know with COVID have been forced to be idle. And then there's some that are busier than ever. Um, there's some people that can't get a moment's peace. And then there's some that are, you know, lonelier than ever. Um, I feel fortunate. I'm grateful to, do, to, to be part of the people that are really busy, uh, sometimes a little bit too busy. <laughs> um, both my husband and I both uh, work for uh, essential services. So we're still working. We have a small business. Uh, my youngest is home homeschooling, which is a challenge for his mother. And I have a father in long term care, so seeing a lot of uh, things happening in the community. You guys at the United Wave Champion have been doing some amazing things. You're such a giving organization. And even now, um, in, with the partner with the municipality, what kind of things are you guys doing uh, to help the, those in need? Well, um, I mean, we've, the municipality uh, in United Way have always been um, strong partners, um, more so than ever. Uh, we So the, the municipality is really looking at United Way to sort of coordinate the whole social side of things. So um, right out the hop, um, we just had our first, um, what we're calling situation table meetings. We do that every Thursday morning. And what's happening is we're bringing together um, people in the community um, including municipal staff, and we have uh, developed these situation tables. So it represents the uh, vulnerable folks in our community. So we're talking about people that are homeless, youth, our seniors, uh, people that use substance. And what we're doing at these tables is identifying the needs of the not-for-profits that are servicing those groups. And in turn, we then bring those needs to a funder's table where these solutions are funded, so it could be things just as simple as, you know, basic needs, so food, clothing, uh, you know, how are seniors getting their medication, um, you know, how are the folks that use substances getting harm reduction supplies, um, do the volunteers have personal protection um, equipment, um, those sorts of things. Yeah. So this partnership, uh, again, with the municipality, um, this forms of funding from the, is this coming from provincial or federal, or is this just a, a whole wallop of a, a deal of partnerships? There's a deal of partnerships. So, of course, we have, uh, you know, our individual donors in this area who have really stepped up some local businesses. Um, there are funds that are coming through the province that have not reached us. Um, however, we are prepared and having those conversations. Like I said, with uh, we have developed a uh, investors table. So all of those funds will go to one table where uh, United Way is just really one individual at that table with a group of investors. That's good. And I'm going to segue exactly when you start speaking about individual donors. Uh, you guys have launched an amazing website called ckgives.ca. Uh, some people have visited, some people haven't. Uh, how has it been since it's open? What kind of uh, reach has it gotten out there? It's, um, I would have to uh, check in with Jackie on that, our, um, our uh, coordinator for that but I know that we are getting quite a few hits it's a uh, I have it open right in front of me it's um it's a great site for resources so you know it's a place where people can um, land on if they're looking for help for instance we have um, the latest COVID-19 information listed with all of that information is linking and directing back to public health uh, emergency food support and resources again some of those are going strictly right back to public health we know who uh, the people are that should be uh, delivering this information. So it's just a, it's a place to link and direct. And of course, we do have um, a volunteer portal where people can sign up who are looking to um, help. Um, it wouldn't be uh, wise to not have a donation page, which is quite active these days. There's also another piece on there where we put up the latest news so that people can uh, look to see what's actually happening in the community. So as dollars are coming in, how are they going out the door and how are they making a difference? Yeah. 
And I think like I think that's one of the best mission things you guys say. Every dollar goes a long way for everyone who's in need. And uh, I think the United Way has been doing some amazing things, including you've been a, a host of several different segments at, at 3 p.m. every day, Local Love in a Global Crisis. Um, let's talk a little bit about that. Some people have seen this show. Some people haven't. Um, this has to be, it's a United Way all across the board. How has it been uh, finding, talking with some of these guests from different organizations and how they're doing their part? Um, it's been really interesting. Um, you know, the reason why we decided to um, to do these 3 p.m. talks is, first of all, we have a fantastic uh, partnership with your TV. Um, and when you had reached out to us, we saw this as a fantastic opportunity to showcase the work that um, nonprofits are doing out there. Also to educate the public on where the needs really are. Uh, and most importantly, it was a way to be very transparent about how the funds that are coming in through our doors are going back out. Um, so very much like the blog, but it's a, uh, a real um, snapshot at what's happening inside uh, different agencies within the community. Yep. No, I think it's a great show. It's a wealth of information, uh, everything from how to apply to EI to, again, talking about, you know, what's happening to some of our homeless population right now. Um, even the ones about, you know, in our education, what are the students doing from home, working from home? I think there's a lot of great topics in there, and you guys are giving a wealth of information for people trying to figure out what to do in these next, who knows, yeah. couple months, how it's going. Karen, thank you so much for joining me. Is there anything you'd like to add about uh, the United Way's big, fight going on here in the world and uh, what you guys are doing. You know what? I do want to add, um, I want to finish this call with some good news. Uh, the student nutrition program is one of those programs where, uh, you know, as funds were coming out the door, they were going directly back out uh, to help families. Um, there's about 2000 students that really rely heavily on the student nutrition program while there's uh, while students, uh, while schools are functioning. Right. So, we had parents, um, principals, teachers come to us like just before the March break was hitting, very concerned about what's going to happen with these kids because we know the March break is going to, you know, put a little bit of a wrinkle into that. But uh, now with school closures, like how are these kids getting the help that they need? So we uh, very, very quickly um, redesigned the program in partnership with the student nutrition program coordinators, and um, on our third week. There, I'm reading my notes here. There's been over 741 families that have been helped. Wow. 1,859 kids and $19,320 worth of grocery cards have gone out the door wow. and are in the hands of uh, families that need it. That's great. Yeah. And you know what? Getting food on the plate and a roof over the head is one thing, but you know, the United Way has always been there to support uh, everyone who's in need, especially during these, these trying times. So, uh, we like to thank you for all the work you guys have been doing. It's 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 amazing, and I don't think people's hearts have been touched so much right now in these times of need. So thanks again for well, what you guys you know do. What? We're all in this together, and this work cannot be done without us all coming together. So it is a time for all of us to uh, to do just that, come together. Perfect. Thank you very much, Karen, for all your time. Thanks.